it just goes over their head. We want to make the accessibility easier. I've, I've spoken to a lot of end users and they don't know anything. We are in the final stretches to have it in every branch in the country. Explain the significance of overcurrent protection. The other suppliers may be having a, an isolator in there. We've got a circuit breaker in there. Are they going to cut into my walls? It's very important to have the right quantity and the right amperage. What would you recommend? Using a fuse or a DC breaker? It can be manufactured to the specification of your customer. What is the Harold's way of doing it? It's always wonderful to spend time with the face of Harold's. Thank you. Rudy, welcome to Busy Working. We will be chatting, obviously, to you regarding electrical and especially focusing on combiner boxes. Um, I think there's a lot of a lot of talk um, regarding combiner boxes, protection you need to put in and all of those things. So uh, I've got a few questions here that I'd like you to, to answer. Um, so our first question that we've got is, can you provide us with a brief overview of what a combiner box is, like the functionality of it, and how do you use it in a solar system? Thank you, Willie. Yes, uh, the combiner box is, is a critical part of the installation purely to the fact that it's to make your installation safe and to have access to it and the accessibility to make it easy off a shelf, built up, pre-wired, just helps the installer to make his install much quicker, which makes him more effective and the customer satisfaction way higher. Okay, so, so what I'm seeing is, so does Harold's offer a pre-built combiner or does it offer the loose parts to, to put the combiner together? So we've got plenty of balance of system in stock and hence the fact that we've now invested into the completion of the combiner boxes for the simple reason being that we want to make the accessibility easier and it will be available on the shelf and we are in the final stretches to have it in every branch in the country. Okay, that's great, that's great. So, how does the design of a combiner box impact the overall efficiency, like you've just said, and safety of a solar array? So what we did is we took hands with the Electromechanica team and we used mainly their products and we had the ratings on the AC and the DC of all the DB boxes due to the fact that it has to comply with an electrical burn and it has to have DC rating on the DC side and it's very important to have the right quantity and the right amperage together with the right product that can withstand the situation. Okay, that's very interesting. Can you explain the significance of overcurrent protection devices in a combiner box and how they contribute to the safety, like you've just mentioned? So the overcurrent on the DC side is monitored in two ways. Number one, the fuse holder will have a fuse in it and it will have a circuit breaker, whereas to the other suppliers may be having an isolator in there we've got a circuit breaker in there so it will there, there's basically double action on it to make it safe with a circuit breaker to either switch off the string or the fuses to to switch off the string and then together with that if there's other overcurrent the fuse can either blow or the circuit breaker can drop so uh, another question on that point is what would you recommend using a fuse or a DC breaker? Does it depend on the application? Does it depend on the, the installer or the client's needs? Or can you just elaborate on that? So with a circuit breaker, um, the thing about a circuit breaker, if it has to trip, yes, one obviously has to go and look at what fault it's given and why it's tripped. And then you can just simply reset it. Whereas to the fuse, once it's blown, it has to be replaced. So the circuit breaker is a once-off cost, whereas to the fuse might be another cost later on. Okay, thank you.
Can you discuss the role of combiner boxes in the context of large-scale solar installations versus smaller residential systems? Obviously, there will be different sizing with regards to amps and voltages and those type of things. So, can you just give us a brief overview of the, let's name it, commercial versus residential? Okay, so on the commercial side, we obviously have our own board building team here in the Bloemfontein branch. Um, and they can design and manufacture the, the box as your customer wants it or with their recommendation. So the right circuit breakers and fuses together with the DB board can be manufactured to the specification of your customer. Okay, that's great. So, so that gets built by the service center that we've got in here before the client even has to do anything on site. Yes, so we will obviously supply them with a single line diagram so that they can sign it off or the electrical engineer can sign it off. Together with the ample space, um, the regulation is probably around 30% extra space in the DB. So to, all together with that, they will get confirmation first from the electrical engineer and the end user and then only manufacturing can happen after that. Great, that's nice to know. How do combiner boxes contribute to overall maintenance and monitoring of a solar power system? So the combiner box will purely be for the safety of the inverter and the cable sizes. And it will obviously help you um, once it's installed that you've got your two, your AC and your DC to run to and you don't need to go to the house's DB um, so it will just, just simplify the installation and help with the maintenance there that you've got a separate DB that will <coughs> serve on your inverter and battery system. So obviously we'll probably have people tuning in that, that are end users. Um, so just to, to sum it up for them, so there'll be an extra DB board installed obviously with your solar system. The current DB board, what happens to that? So there will probably be a changeover mounted in the current DB board and then your AC combiner will have the circuit breakers to protect your, your inverter and then the DC combiner will obviously have that for your PV array that comes from the roof and then you'll have fuses on your battery itself. So it's actually three extra units that will be installed on your battery system at home. Okay, so there's no disruption of the DB board or a lot of work that goes, obviously there's a lot of work that goes into it, but there's no damage that will be done to walls or things like that, that, that the clients will have to worry about. Because I've, I've spoken to a lot of end users and they don't know anything about obviously breakers and fuses and those type of things. So it just goes over their head and the, a lot of the complaints or the let's not call it complaints the worries of the end users are are they going to cut into my walls are they going to grind away um, do i have to repaint or replaster so I've, I've heard a lot of that so can you just put them at ease and uh, just tell them that the installers what do they do and how do they do it and and what is the herald's way of doing it or let's call it our installer's way of doing it. So I think proper planning in that circumstance should be the key number one. If a person does want to have less damage done to his walls and the installation to be less complex, there are high voltage systems that they can consider. Um, I can mention the brands now, but I don't think that's probably about the awareness. Um, and then the low voltage systems, obviously they have a bit more detail to them as it is a system that has to be stepped up, whereas to the, the, the high voltage system will have less um, installation products for the simple reason being um, they try and keep it simpler than the low voltage system. Okay, that's great. So that's all that we have time for now on busy working. We've spoken to Rudy about electrical combiner boxes and a few extra things he's added. So Rudy, thank you for your time. Uh, we know you're a busy man. So thank you for joining us. 
And is there any last comments on your electrical side that you want to put in, tell the installers or customers? It's always wonderful to spend time with the face of Harold's. Thank you. Thanks, Judy.